What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is my Harley Benton Amarok 6. Uh, I've done a few videos on this guitar already on the channel if you want to check those out. But I just want to come in and showcase this one real quick today because I'm currently writing a new song with this, with this guitar. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm in love with this thing. This guitar is actually my least expensive uh, Super Strat that I have here at the home studio. And actually, I only have one other guitar that's cheaper than this one. It's, it's another Harley Benton, but it's uh, a single cut. It's a Les Paul style. Anyways, getting back to this, this is a workhorse. The Amarok 6 is a wonderful guitar. Uh, at the time that I ordered it, it was during the pandemic, and I still got this guitar shipped to me in like three days. And I think the cost was somewhere around $400 shipped to my door. Like crazy. I think it's a little more expensive now, but uh, this guitar is great. Let me tell you why. It's got EMG pickups. It's got active pickups. It's got a mahogany body. Well, mahogany wings with the uh, through neck. The neck is maple and walnut. Uh, rosewood fingerboard. I won't go over all the specs because I've done all that before in previous videos. Basically, I just want to get the point across that this is a really well-built guitar. It's pretty heavy. It's on the heavier side. I don't think it's quite eight pounds, but it's up there. And uh, because of the denser wood and these kind of pickups, they're uh, EMG Retro Hot 70s or Hot Retro 70s, something like that. Uh, they're a medium output pickup and uh, a little bit on the warmer side, so they're not too harsh and high end with the treble stuff. So basically, this guitar is just very easy to get a really high gained, well distorted, but still clear you know, type of um, metal tone. It just sounds great in the mix. I'm currently writing a new track, which I released a short today on YouTube, just a small snippet of that song, and I'll play it for you here real quick. So that song is written and recorded with this guitar here, and I'm using Nero DSP plugins. Uh, it just sounds really cool. Still trying to finalize the song and build it out a little bit more and add some more bass and some other synth lines to it and stuff, and then I've got to mix it down. But uh, that's a good start with this thing, man. I just got inspired. You know, once in a while you just want to pick up a guitar that you haven't played for a long time, or maybe you have one guitar and you just haven't played in a while. I mean, pick it up and you never know. You might just spark a little bit of uh, inspiration there on the spot and you write something cool, and before you know it, you have a new song going. So. Uh, that's kind of what's happening with this. I really do like this guitar, man. It's a workhorse. This thing would be great on stage. Take it with you to go because, I mean, because it's so inexpensive, you really don't worry about it quite as much as you might with, like, you know, your Gibsons, your, your old Fender Strats or what have you. It's, uh, you know, if it gets banged up, it gets banged up. Who cares? It's not that expensive. Um, but it's a lot of fun to play. I love this neck, too, because it's a thicker neck. But it has that nice, just perfect semicircle C shape to it. This guitar is currently my lowest tuned six string guitar. I have it set up in the dead gay tuning, but it's three semitones lower. So the low string is actually a B. Uh, I'm running 12 to 60 gauge strings on this for that tuning. They're a little bit slack, but they're not too bad. It's tolerable and I don't mind it. I think if I was gonna record with this thing professionally and I wanted to be in that tuning, I'd probably step it up to like a 64 gauge string or something like that. Uh, but I really don't like the thicker strings under my fingers. It's a personal thing. I just like the feel of these 12 to 60s feels great. I can still bend them because it's just enough flex. It's perfect, man. This guitar is one of my favorites. <laughs> and it's my least expensive guitar pretty much that I own. Uh, Harley Benton Amarok 6. This thing's a killer. Check them out if you want to, or if you don't want to, don't check them out. So basically, I think the premise of this video is <laughs> I really enjoy this guitar. Uh, it sparked a little bit of inspiration in me, inspiration to write this cool new riff. Uh, you know, I got a new song going with this thing. Maybe you out there have a guitar that you've had sitting around and, you know, under the bed in the closet, just put away in its case and you haven't touched it in forever. Pull it out, man. Play something new and maybe get inspired. Who knows? Uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. Please make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Hit the like button, share, comment, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you in the next one. I'm out of here. See ya!